This video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's roll. What's going on, guys? So, I'm just, I'm, I'm out of straws. I'm out. My 3D printer video was the last bit of content I had planned. So I was just going to make some more knife collection videos. I had another watch to put a battery in. And I thought, you know what I could do today? Well, first things first, I need to get a hold of the internet guy because my internet I thought was down. So I called my ISP. They did some restarts and a few changes. And then I got to these things. And they did not know. They didn't have a fix for this stuff. It's a, it's a like an internet booster. And these are uh, these are what Com or, or uh, Xfinity used to do. So I went online to order the the larger version of it. I thought maybe if I ordered a new one that would help. But these plug in with these usually plug into the wall. They pick up the signal, rebroadcast it, and then there's also a uh, uh, Ethernet cable. So if you have like a television or something that takes YouTube or whatever, you could just plug that directly in, and you don't have to worry about a password. And I kept trying to log these things in. I just kept trying to log these things in. I thought maybe I just need some new uh, some new uh, booster things or whatever you call them. So I remember Google makes the, it makes something similar. It sets up a mesh net. So I checked Google. I think if I remember right, they had a one and a three. And I remember Costco has them. So I went ahead and I went to Costco and they had I think they had like I remember right there, they had a two and they had a four. I went with a four. Okay, I'm going to say something right up front that um, you have to have an ISP already, okay? What, what this does is it basically creates a, uh, like what's called a mesh network, which kind of allows your ISP signal to go further through the different portions of the home. So you have bars everywhere. So your devices can pick up internet service. So I'm going to unbox these things, set them up, together and we'll go through this and check it out okay sound like a plan but usually i just wanted to get that out of the way that you have to have an isp to run these to my knowledge um i read and read and read and read and finally i found some videos and so i noticed that most people just don't say it up front so isp and this basically boosts the signal of your current internet provider okay so i'm curious what's in the box myself i went to costco i got the little uh, they have these, you, you get a little piece of cardboard that has the item on it. They take you to the room where they keep the electronics and stuff in the safes. So here is the box. Wow, look at that. Pretty good packaging so far. So I got Google Wi Fi that just works. I'm all for that. Uh, Google Wi Fi. So I don't know if this this is the same as this because I originally wanted to buy three plus one. Well, this essentially kind of looks like three plus one, which was cool because that's what I wanted to do anyway. And I just thought we would do a lot better with a total of four. So I'll open the I'm going to open the small one first. We'll see what's in here. Okay. So I guess I set these up through a app called Google Home. Look at this. Whoa. Okay, it opens like that. <laughs> Ooh, there's three more chunguses there. Alright, so I got all four of these undone. Uh, on the bottom here, there's... On the bottom of these things, there's two... Uh, Ethernet ports and a power port uh, and the reason why I'm not showing you that is because there's a QR code with this is and there's a setup ID with a setup code you know I'm not sure if that enables people to go into my internet from the internet I don't know what that does so I'm just not going to show that but you know you'll see me perhaps scanning the bottoms of these things with my phone to log them into the internet system and uh, so that's that. So I was sitting there naively showing these things, and I realized, oh, those might be basically passwords underneath that. So I better not show that online. <laughs> okay. So I just went back and reshot this where they're all forward and laying here on top of the table. So 
Okay, I'm gonna get to setting these things up, guys. I'm probably gonna go starting off in my bedroom where the Wi-Fi uh, router is at, and I'll set that up from there, and then we'll just start, I guess, loading these things onto a mesh network and basically getting the network to expand to other parts of the home. So basically, here we are in Phenomenal Watch offices. <laughs> Got to print me some 3D cable holders there to clean that mess up. But I'm going to go duck under the table here. I'm going to plug this into the power strip. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in this hard line into the router, internet service provider's router they give me. And we'll see if this thing kicks on. And I might use that app to log into the... To the... All right, so I got the first one set up. I'm going to go to the hall set up the second one. So here I am on the phone. I'm using an application called Google Home. Uh, the first one, what time I got in here, I was able to use the camera on the QR code and get it set up. Then when I move into the uh, other TV room, I had to uh, close out the app because I got the other, other two set up and then I had to uh, go back in. And whatever reason, I wound up using the uh, setup code, but eventually I got everything running, good to go and uh, I was firing on all cylinders. And here I am on TV. I had the ethernet port hooked up to the television and I was watching my own video. So I had one more left, but the internet and everything's going so well now that I don't know where to put it. It looks like I got enough coverage between the, my room, that second room and the room by the TV. Here's the back, I'm covering the code. So you can see the middle little dot in the middle, that's that's a hole and that's where the power goes and the other two are where the ethernet cable goes. You know guys, it's just, uh, you know, it's just me kind of muddling through the setup of this thing. <laughs> All right, okay guys, I'll see you later.